so after using this portable monitor for about two months i think it is high time i give you guys my first impression about this portable monitor hi guys it's mokube here in this video we are going to be unboxing and giving our first impression about the u perfect x14 pro wireless lab dex dock monitor touch screen so let's get into the video so we have to peel this out after we should open it our environment for better future wow and it comes with a user manual so keep it aside The various company and power supply that is the USB Type C at power adapter. So and the device itself. So okay. At the right hand side, you are going to see the power supply button. With this, you can actually make the device to go to sleep and put it on. And we have the external micro SD card. If for example, you have an SD card, a storage device like this, you can simply insert it. So that's it. Beside it, you have a USB type C power supply and beside the USB type C power supply you have your earpiece slot so that's it here that's the earpiece port here so at the left hand side you can see you have your USB type C with this it actually enables you to connect your phone and this device and here you have a mini HDMI port with this you can actually enable you to share this device with the larger screen or to pair it to the larger monitor or you can use it with you can pair with your smart tv if you want this is not just a portable monitor but it also comes with a keyboard you can see that's a keyboard like an ordinary keyboard which you can found in any other laptops you have the mouse here not just that this device can be fold and unfold 180 as you can see and 360 so you can repeat it and you can decide to use this device in this mode as you can see so like this Oh yeah. So that's it. Okay. Right now we are going to now connect our smartphone to this portable monitor. But you can do this that two ways either by using the wireless type or plugging your USB rope directly from there. So we are going to start with plugging our USB so but we are going to be using the Samsung device since this portable monitor is suitable with Samsung but it is also compatible with any other smartphone so we'll start by turning on our device so on the home screen you're going to see the guideline on how you can project your smartphone with this portable monitor So we'll start by connecting our, our smartphone with it, but make sure your smartphone is turned on. So that's, that's it. So just have in mind that anything you can do in any laptop 
can also as well do it on your portable monitor so this is a section for your apps so that's it so let's say you want to to work on a word document okay open it you can simply edit your word document and with this it makes your your life so smooth so easy let's say you want to watch a youtube video on youtube and it makes your browsing going smoothly so that's a touch screen thank you for sending me money to revenue so, it that's it and i also love the graphic of this device you can see so that's it okay let's say you want to as well play your video games yeah let's say call of duty that's it and you can as well connect your your joystick to this portable monitor using your smartphone okay that's it The funniest thing is that I love playing video games with this portable monitor. Like it makes life so easy and I enjoy the graphic. As you can see. Oh, I just get shot. Oh, but that's not the case. So we are going to give you guys various reviews about this portable monitor with different video games. Okay. Secondly, we'll start by connecting this portable monitor with our smartphone wirelessly. So you simply need to turn it on and here you can see the various instructions on how to do that. So you simply connect it. You don't need to, to connect your cable directly. So with this, you can do the same stuff. But the only issue I have when using it wirelessly is that the the touch screen was not functioning the way it was supposed to be like when you are using it directly with your USB cable so that was the only issue I don't think I'm the only one having this issue but so that's my only issue I have with it when connecting it wirelessly that is so I prefer using it with my USB cable so like this before using it in this with this mode so guys I'm going to be leaving our reference link where you can actually purchase this device so you can get this possible monitor for about $300 so guys make sure you use our Pocon code Get that benefit from it that is 40 percent off from the initial price thank you guys for watching and we are going to be doing various videos various smartphone review with this possible monitor anytime soon so make sure you subscribe for more tech review